So my buddy Dan asked me to come and look for some keys that were lost in the lake off the association dock here in Marquette. Turns out a little person decided to see what kind of a splash they would make, you know how little people are. Someone had recommended I try a voiceover, and so I'm going to do both. I always put the little thought bubbles, the text, uh, on these videos, but um, just want to know what you all think about perhaps a voiceover. I'm going to try it on this one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We have been cleaning this area up, so there's a lot less trash than there once was, but there's still plenty plenty to remove. Uh, you'll see that in, a little bit later in the video. Finding keys would be tricky because of the silt. They're kind of heavy, and so they'll sink, so we'll be searching the area pretty thoroughly. Obviously not everything I find is trash. This adapter is quite expensive and I'm sure the owner would be happy to get it back. You'll find random pieces of plastic still and some recent things that were dropped in the water. Things that were dropped in the water recently. A couple of towels on today's dive. I also am going to retrieve a hubcap that I saw on a previous dive on the other on the other dock. Hopefully it'll help me ID the car that uh, is underneath the dock. See I have my GoPro mounted to my mask, which might make things a little shaky. You're constantly looking around for things like this neat old bottle. You find a lot of them here. They um, get buried and then maybe a current comes through and all of a sudden you'll see a part of it. So we're still finding these things even after diving here and geez, dozens of times. gloves I'm wearing are seven millimeter gloves. They're pretty cumbersome. It's kind of hard to open these little latches and things, but they keep your hands warm. The water in this area this time of year was in the mid 40s, so it's quite chill. I do reduce the length of these videos quite a bit. No one wants to see me stare at mud. Um, but these keys did not want to be found. I didn't realize that I was right on top of the keys. Everything was under the water except for a little bit of that fob.
The wide angle on my GoPro makes it look a lot deeper than it is. This is actually about 22 feet of water. It's not terribly deep, but it looks a lot deeper. And you can attribute that to the wide angle lens of the GoPro. What's that? Where's it going? Good, I got him. No kidding. I, that black thing, the fob, yeah. looked like a piece of gray, like taconite sticking out of the soil. Everything was underneath the silt. So, you know, I went by it twice. I came back. Oh, no. I'll be dipped. I grabbed it, and that was it. I also got you some towels in his adapter. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, if you want to grab this stuff, sure. I'm going to run over to the other dock real quick, get my hub cap. Got some towels. <laughs> Is that a magnet? Yeah, that was, they, they had this uh, uh, after the fire was there trying to get it out and the knot came out. That was very close to the key, yeah. Really? Yeah. We find a lot of insurance cards, credit cards, driver's license. I don't know why they're loose in someone's hands and they just drop them in the, in the water but come to an area of the dock where there's a lot of trash still even today we're gonna we're gonna make this part of our underwater cleanup focus this year for our fifth annual underwater cleanup that'll be coming up August 5th it's hard to believe we've been doing this for years and there's still tons of trash under water here 12 tons of tires we've removed already. Two refrigerators, there's so much more trash. Oh yeah. Mm. I got an insurance card too. <laughs> I don't know if I know what these are. Thanks for watching. Time to get my gear off and see what kind of uh, vehicle that's from. Kaiser hubcap. Cool. Kaiser was it then? Kaiser. Yeah, but was that like the early Jeeps or something? Yeah, 52, 53, 54. I'm just looking to see what it is. Yeah. Huh.